You know, family members of those lost to violent crimes are honoring loved ones as we commemorate National Day of Remembrance for homicide victims. Knoxville held their own memorial tonight. WAT 6 Interside reporter uh, Ella Wales spoke with a family member there at the service. Joins us now in the studio with more. Ella. Dawn, Hope for Victims held their memorial service at the Brick Memorial outside of the City County Building. Families gathered in solidarity and Knox County District Attorney Sharm Allen read the names of homicide victims in Knox County. Nobody deserves their lives to be taken away unless it's God's plan. I don't think this was the case and I just want justice for my niece. It's been more than two years since Regina King's niece Shaka Sai was murdered and the family and law enforcement are still searching for answers. Still today, they do not know, you know, who did it. I'm, I'm just basically here, you know, to support all the other victims, families who's here, who's lost loved ones. Unfortunately, in my case, we haven't gotten justice yet, and so I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna be out here and doing whatever I can until we get justice for my niece's murder. At the Hope for Victims Memorial Service Monday, Knox County District Attorney Sharm Allen read names of victims being added to the Brick Memorial. She says it's important to raise public awareness about what the families of victims go through. When a homicide happens, often um, there, it's in the news, or when the trial comes up, it's in the news again. But the families of these homicide victims have to live with that loss day after day after day, forever. Working in law enforcement, Allen says it's their mission to do what they can for these families. And so it's our job as prosecutors to hold those offenders accountable, to take them to trial, to uh, really bring them before the citizens of Knox County and let them be found guilty and removed from our society. And even though uh, a conviction in a homicide doesn't really bring back um, the person that's been lost, it is a small bit of closure for the families in these cases. King says being around other families who've been through what she has is a bittersweet feeling. It's a tearful day for me because it brings back the remembrance. Uh, you know, it's, it's like a constant reminder. Um, and to see that I'm not the only one going through this. There are others that's going through this. And we can support each other, love on each other, you know, knowing that, you know, we've been through this and we can get through this with each other's support. King's niece, Shaka Sai, was shot and killed in the Old City area of Knoxville in July of 2021. She left behind three children, and as we mentioned, police are still looking for her killer. Dawn.